let's do this. Welcome, game developers, to Doug Teaches UE5 Rail Shooter Revival. Okay, so in this episode, what we're going to do is simply put, we're just going to have a bit of AI. Now, I'm going to use the mannequin. It'll just run to us and then explode. Uh, that's all it'll do. No, no melee. We'll have melee and shooty enemies later on, but right now, for all intents and purposes, because I don't have any characters, I intend to fix that when I go to tomorrow, um, so that way next week we can deal damage to us, which means we're going to have to reload as well. Ah, yeah. So next week's tutorial, or the week of, I don't fucking know, so I this, this entire, these past few weeks have been ridiculous. Anyway, let's get started with this nonsense. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into content, I'm going to add, I'm going to add a feature or content pack, I'm just going to go to third person, add to the, add to the project, and boom, boom jams. We have our, let's go to blueprints, let's go to character, oh, let's move this up here. Alright, so are we going to leave it at the third person character? Yeah, we don't really need anything else. Ah. Hey, really? You're deleting the controls? Yeah, no point in having it. Why? What do you mean, why? This is going to be our AI. Like I said, this, this thing is just going to run to us and then, like, explode. That's it. That's all it's going to do. Uh, so, are we going to damage? No, it'll just run to us and we will be able to kill it. How will we do that? <clears throat> okay, so... What we can do... We're just going to make it real super simple. We're not even going to use any AI state trees or any of that. Really? Yeah. We will, however, let me go to, uh, shit, class settings, classes character, da da da, I'm going to say again, huh, what, what, no, I was thinking maybe I could use an AI controller, but I'm going to go, let me go to class defaults. Well, I mean, it is using a generic AI controller. What is an AI controller? AI controller, if it says AI controller, that means it's just generic. Like, literally generic. Bare bones shit. So we're not going to do any state trees? No need. You have to understand, when you're doing, especially when you're doing rail shooters, or even hacking, it can be considered, like, you can make an argument for hack and slashers as well. Um, you're gener generally speaking... You don't use AI uh, AI controllers unless you really like fighting games. Will use an AI controller. Street Fighter Five uses an AI controller. Tekken, Mortal Kombat, they all do that. Um, this this generally doesn't. You just because like the AI's job is just run at you. There's no stealth elements involved. None of that nonsense. So what we want to do is um, let's just have it so that way it just runs to us and then um, let's use a tech. Really? Tech? Yeah, fuck it. So we just, uh, AI move to pawn is gonna be ourself. Destina destination we'll worry about in a bit. Target actor will be get player character. And then destination from here, we could, we could literally just say get, uh, get actor location. And boom, we can we can do that if we want to, and leave my friends behind. Friends don't count. Da, 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 da. And that. Let's put the tolerance at fifty. Okay, so what do we do? Well, for starters, here's what an AI move to does. It literally says, "Hey, where do you want the AI to go?" So the pawn is going to be ourself because by default, characters themselves are pawns. The destination is going to be the AI uh, is going to be the player character. Now there's a difference. But now I could say get. Now I could say, just say cast to um, uh, the rail shooter character. Except uh, what I mean by that is literally just um, take this and then cast to rail shooter character, and then from there I could just get actor location. But you won't do that. No. Right. Okay. So the reason being is because number one, this is an offline. There's, a, there's no multiplayer components in this. You want to add multiplayer? That is completely on you. And even then, with multiplayer components, you just uh, get the player index 
from you change the player index from zero to one, see whichever one's closer, an extra extra drive, and then go from there. So then, what you do is so then from there, it's gonna scan for the like look for any pl any character that's that the player the that the player controller is controlling, so which is the round character. Yeah. So then we get the active location, put that into the destination, and the acceptable radius. How long do you like? What's the tolerance level? Do you want them, do you want the AI to be right up in your face, 50 units away, whatever? And uh, stop on overlap. If for whatever reason the character clips into you, which it won't, um, it just stops. Uh, what happens if you fail? Okay, so as it stands, this is going to be an infinite loop. We don't want that, so we want a delay. On fail, delay for two, for delay for point two seconds, and then just go back, go at it again. On success, however, what we want to do is we want to uh, spawn emitter at location because it's just going to explode on our face. So we get that location. We could just get that actor location of ourselves. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And then from there, we literally just say destroy actor. We can just destroy ourselves. So how will this work? Okay, so well, we're not. We're technically done here. What we need to do now is we need to basically say, okay, um, oh no, uh, with rail character, we can get rid of this because we need to spawn explosions too. Out oh, right. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't necessarily need this. Okay. Uh, and can't shoot is true. We want to get hit actor. And this one will be third person character. Well, this one we need the cast. All right, because we're going to check to see if we're hitting. If we're hitting this, then, then what we want to do is spawn emitter. Spawn emitter at, uh, at location. What were we spawn? Um, no, let's just do fire. Fuck it. Oh, really? What will uh, location be? Location will be the location of what we hit. Ah, oh. wait. Are you sure? Yeah. This is go it's gonna be on the character. Like that's that's just a given. And then what we can do is just just destroy the actor. We'll have like death. If you guys want death animations, we'll get all that when we're when we're really ramping this up. And then let's just add a quick delay. Why? Because we want to destroy this. Ow! Destroy component. Why not destroy the actor? Because we mean this is a particle system is not an actor. Particle system is a particle emitter is not an actor. An actor. It's a component. It's like a static mesh. That's not an actor. It's a component. Zero so sound cues. Components. Yeah. Lights, components, anything that's not, anything that's not, does it, okay, just fucking fine. Let's open up the blueprint class. The only way that it could be an actor is if you actually designate it as an actor. As it stands, that is a component, that is a component, that is a component. Ah, lights a component. The static, uh, the skybox is not a component, that's actually an actor, because it's, a, uh, because it's included by default. Um, not not been included by default because it's all the way over here. Skysphere is an actual actor. Okay, I think I get it. Uh, whatever. So how do we spawn this thing? Okay, so in let's go to our level blueprint. Do do uh, open level blueprint and unfinished. We need a. I'm just gonna fuck. Um. Yeah. All right. I'm fin let's let's clone this. Let's clone this. I'm gonna grab that last point. I'm gonna hold down the Alt key, click, drag it out, and then I'm just gonna rotate it around 180 degrees, and then I'll just spawn one of them. So when we're finished with our movement, right? Unfinished. We'll just uh, spawn AI. Technically, technically speaking, it is AI. <sighs> Fuck. But we do need a behavior tree. Fuck it. Where are you spawning an actor? Well, I'm gonna spawn the actor. See that. 
if you need an AI, will we need an AI tree? Hold on, let's find out. Person, character, good. Let's grab a reference to that newly created target point. Get actor, uh, get world, Trent. Fine. Actor transform. I thought you said that was an actor. I thought you said that was a component. Well, obviously I was wrong. Looks like the target point is its own actor. It's uh, maybe maybe it's because it has its own blueprints. And whatever. Anyway, so let's compile and let's test this. Now let's move. Back. There it is. Hmm. It's not running. Why is it not running? Damn it, I think I do need a behavior tree. Serious? Yeah. Fuck. Alright. Okay. Let's go get a behavior tree going. Go here, and we have to call it fucking... We have to actually fucking call it an AI. So we go to artificial intelligence. And let's just get a behavior tree. And... that That's it. <laughs> Are we not gonna expand on behavior trees? No. Why? <laughs> no, this is. I'll rename it because I forgot to name it like an idiot. Uh, F two. B T T P. B T T P. Wow, great naming convention. Shut up. Okay, so spawn. A I. This A I will be third person character. Behavior tree will be BTTP. Ugh. What about the location and rotation? Do we need to add? Yeah. Well, technically speaking, we don't need that. Yes. World. Fine. Get actor rotation. As far as location, yeah, we need the get actor location. Location's required. Rotation isn't. Whatever. Anyway, let's play. Let's test this out. Hey, look at that. He's coming at us. Huzzah. And he exploded. Um, did he, did the thing not hit? Well, can't shoot. Is that true? Let's go to real character. If hit actor. Let's see if we're actually hitting the actor. I'm pretty sure the thing's not even going. The thing's not even going. Hmm. I can't spawn a. Let's see if we're hitting the actor. String. Why are you putting it in cast fail? Because I'm pretty sure the cast is failing. Ah. Do do do. Ba do 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 do. Yep, cast is failing. Why? Hmm. Uh. Let's find out why, actually. Hit component, hit actor. Hmm. Well, we could. There's another way we can do it. I mean, this is gonna be the shitty way. Otherwise, we could just spawn. Okay, we have two options. I'm listening. First one was we just we spawn an actor, and uh, that actor can be our explosion. And if the player, if the character's anywhere near it, with a spear colli coll collision thing, and then we just uh, destroy it. The other, we can take the location, see if it's anywhere near this dude's location, and then do the same thing. Let's do the actor one. All right, we're creating an actor for it then. Fine. Blo uh, so, let's create the actor. Let's hit Control B. We're gonna uh, add a blueprint class. This will be an actor. I'll just call this uh, Normal Bullet. I'm just gonna call it Normal Butler. What? I don't, don't do not. I don't. I don't know. I mean, let's add some components to this bitch. We're gonna add uh, Sphere Collision. Come on. I have to actually hit space. Fuck that noise. Let's do that. Uh, 32. 
that should be good. I'll just call this collider. Wait a second. What? Hold the fuck up. Did I? I didn't delete. Let me undo the delete. Uh, yeah, I'll do undo undo. There we go. Why? Because I think I remember what the hell happened. Which is why. <sighs> Give me a sec. Let's go to third person character. Let's go to viewport. Let's go you. Da -da 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 -da. We gotta go to the collision section because under collision presets, under character, fuck you, I don't care, Discord, we have to go to custom collision because if I'm right, where is visible? Visibility is set to ignore. We need to block it. Ow. Could that be it? Nah, it could be. Uh, let's block, and let's block vehicles as well. Why? Uh, just, just, just hear me out on that. Same as with you. Let's see what your collision looks like. <laughs> uh, collision resets. Let's do custom on you as well, and make sure visible is set to block. Can that be? That can't be it. Let's give it a shot. Play. Up, block. There we go. What? That was it? Yeah. What the hell happened? By default, you're... I forgot, because I didn't... I was like... It came to me in a Eureka moment. Okay, so here's what happened, people. When you're doing a trace, the trace channel is visibility. By default, uh, the characters in question, like the third-person character, um, its collision is literally, by default, set to ignore it. So, while the third-person character... It was casting. The reason why it was failing was because the the, the trace was the, it, the trace was being ignored. Exactly. Ow! Oh fuck! Yeah. Why didn't the fire particle show up? Eh, who cares? Point is, we got that done and done. Let's try it again. So next week we're actually gonna have more AI. Yes. He's coming at us. There we go. Oh, the particle did. The, the particle did go. Ah, come on. So, anyway, that said, um, um, we, now that that's said and done, uh, I'll shoot him in the groin. There we go. Uh, now that that's said and done, next week, or the week after, hopefully next week, but I have a lot of midterms to grade. Oh, God. They're already submitting it now. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, I have, like, <sighs> Over the past few weeks, the power went out in my apartment. The school said I had to do a ton of shit for them. That the school that I'm teaching for. On top of that, the nine to five is just it just has just been really hectic. It's just like the, the the whole thing kept piling up, and our release schedule got all types of fucked up. Hopefully, our release schedule is going to be back on topic. And I got to do that multiplayer bit for uh, 40k Warzone's replication nonsense. Wow, now, you want to air out some more? Fuck you, I have legit grievances. Jesus. So next week, um, we're going to expand on our AI. We'll have a range and a melee one that'll cause damage. And we'll have to keep a scorecard because that means we're going to have to go to the next section. Uh, similar to what I did back way back when. So, um, will, we have our, will we have a GUI? We'll have to have a GUI and a reload function, yes. Uh, okay, cool. But uh, are we going to do, like, limb damage? No, no. You want to do limb damage? Uh, I think I have a headshot collision. I'll probably put a, a card right now, but like, yeah, I'm I do that. Fair enough. In any case, uh, tune in. Thanks for um, and there. Wait, am I ending it? Yes. And there you have it, uh, game developers. Tune in next time for Doug teaches UE5. Yes. Mm -hmm.